imagine landing from a long international flight and you get to baggage claim and you see your chauffeur with your name on a tablet. That is the way you like to start off a luxury vacation. In this episode, I'm going to interview Eden Algae from MHS Worldwide, and he's going to discuss the Black car services and some of the unique experiences they have with MHS Worldwide. Believe me, it's more than just picking you up from the airport. Welcome to the You Deserve a Luxury Vacation podcast, where we help busy professionals with valuable tips and inspiration to plan their next luxury vacation. Your host is Belvin Baldwin II, an award-winning travel advisor and owner of Showtime Travel. He will educate and entertain you on this journey by speaking with some of the top luxury travel suppliers. So let's get started, because you deserve a luxury vacation. Well, hello, Eden, and welcome to the uh, You Deserve a Luxury Vacation podcast. How are you doing? Couldn't be better. The sun is shining. Uh, we've been rained out in California for about uh, four days, five days, so it's kind of nice to see the sun again. Yeah, I heard about that rain. Well, I'm glad it's starting. you're starting to uh, see the sun again. Everything's great. I, um, you know, I'm excited to, you know, to learn a little bit about MHS Worldwide because you, you know, when you talk about black car service, it's it's the um, prelude to it, you know, to a great vacation. You look at it, you know, once you get out that airport and you you see that that chauffeur waiting for you or has, has your name at, at baggage claim and you, you're ready to move forward, it starts your vacation off right. So let's just talk about MH, uh, MHS Worldwide. Give me a quick overview and, and your role in it. Sure. So MHS Worldwide is a global transportation company, right? Um, it's uh, it's like you say, it's uh, it's not rocket science. It's the beginning and ending to a good trip, whether it be, <laughs> you know, a, a luxury travel or whether it be private travel or corporate travel, whatever that may be. We have the ability and we've grown a company to be able to accommodate um, not only one or two people, a couple going on vacation who want to go to the airport, but also anywhere in the world that they perhaps want to tour or they want to uh, see something or they want they don't want to try and figure out a, a tube system in a whole, whole different foreign place or or they want to uh, they've got four days on vacation and instead of spending four days trying to find the kind of things that you should be seeing which i think everybody has done at some point right, you right. waste a lot of tourist time and tourist dollars um you know you have someone who can actually show you around and in luxury and in, in, in security and 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 that's all become more and more prevalent you know as we saw the uh, pandemic obviously shut down people's uh, ideology of what travel all about now is this is why you see private aircraft going through the roof in terms of usage is because people start to think you know what travel is actually really important and i want to make the most of it now it's not one of these bulk things you know anyone can book a trip but you know for example you, what you guys do is you guys help facilitate the luxury end of an experience. And to be honest with you, what we've seen is that people are far more willing now to invest a little bit more money, I suppose, in having a much better experience. So it's all about the experiential. Beforehand, it may have been a little bit more of a, you know, we would just want to to go there we're going to walk around for three days and you know uh, <laughs> yeah. we're going to check it out and go. but now people are actually putting more purpose into their travel you know and that's the reason why it's so important to have you know for example showtime because you guys know exactly you know the local affiliates you know how to navigate your way around travel and and, and all that kind of stuff you know even with airports you know, even yeah. with the airports are a complete nightmare it's like wouldn't you rather get out of that airport after a beautiful trip and not have to stand in a, an Uber or taxi queue for, you know, about five or six days, you know, or wow. walk yeah. or bus or whatever that is. You just want someone to come pick up your bags, get a nice car, drink the cold water in the back seat, get home and think, wow, that was a great trip. So effectively, that's what we do. We pro we provide the wheels and we do, uh, you know, obviously, you know, as I said, cars, um, you know, uh, SUVs, uh, limos, buses, coaches, et cetera, whatever that party okay. size might be. But we focus on a certain quality quality level um, whereby, okay. you know, the driver, the driver's wearing a suit, uh, unlike mm -hmm. me. 
obviously. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, so, <laughs> you're you know, a big, you're but, a big uh, dog, haven't you? Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really not. But uh, <laughs> but um, but I think for for us and for me and for for the world of travel, I think uh, it's all about relationships, also. And and whereby in the past, and I've done it my whole life, it didn't matter to me who I was booking my travel through or what I was doing, as long as it was a good deal, mm -hmm. right? Right. And unfortunately, that that model no longer will give you an experience that you will always remember. And as we get older, you know, through life, it's like, OK, I know exactly what that looks like. It's amazing price, but there's no way I'm going anywhere near. It. I'm going to double that price. I'm going to have an amazing experience that I can come back and tell all my friends about, you know. So really, it's all about experience, you know, and whether yeah, it be a black car. Yeah, it's all about experiences. And I think you guys, you you know, we've worked with you and you all have great, you know, uh, great experiences. My my clients have really loved, uh, loved your services, but you kind of, you, you, you will have so many different styles of, of car services or, you know, uh, out there. What, what kind of makes MHS worldwide unique from the rest? Well, uh, attention to detail. Uh, okay. Attention to detail and not skipping costs, uh, not not skipping quality. You know, mm -hmm. every every vehicle, every driver that we have, we uh, are intimate with them anywhere in the world. There's a lot of listen. When it's not rocket science, right? Providing a vehicle, but what right. is rocket science is the communication you have with that driver, knowing the personal needs and wants of who is getting in that car. Um, you know, being able to be be flexible enough to help change last minute on a global basis is very mm -hmm. important. Uh, there are many companies out there, uh, anything you can do for a little bit cheaper, but just know that there is going to be a 50 to 80% chance that the car is going to be late. The driver is not going to be tidy. Uh, you're not going to get the efficient service and you're not going to walk out of that vehicle thinking, okay, good. Life is good. Right. And, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I, we could provide cheap cars anywhere you want, but cheap experiences and cheap cars and cheap travel uh, mean zero experience and, and, and zero kind of, you know, self-enjoyment. So, you know, and to be honest with you, people travel, they work hard, you know, yeah. and, and that's what it's all about. It's not, it's not about us. It's not about us. Um, you know, when you're traveling, you've saved that money up, you've worked hard for it. You want to stay in a nice hotel. You don't want to get in the back of a taxi that 3000 different people have used <laughs> and run their snotty hands over the back seat and, you know, sneezed everywhere. But it's like, you know, we, you want to get in a nice car and you want to drink the cold water and you don't want to be bothered by the, the driver or you can have a full on conversation with the drivers. All those little details that make him just worldwide just that little bit different. Yeah, Eden, I think that's great because you, that's why the uh, name of this podcast is You Deserve a Luxury Vacation because the last thing you want to do is is spend your time and your effort to, you know, take this vacation and it goes off bad with with the car service. So I'm glad you you spoke of that. Now, now you did speak about the different types of cars. You know, what what kind of cars are in your fleet? Okay, so you've got obviously different global models, right? But in right. the United States, you're talking, you know, uh, SUVs, sedans, whether it be Cadillacs, whether it be Mercedes, whether it be Mercedes Sprinters and the coaches. Coaches, of course, come in many different guises. Um, but it's a it's a plethora. It's a it's a whole plethora of vehicles. West Coast, we've got more electric cars, but you know, it's one of these things that we're kind of rolling out as we go. It's not quite efficient yet when mm -hmm. you're doing so many trips and you need to recharge for an hour every day. Every right like three hours you need to charge but there's a lot of uh, evolution going on in in the in the in the vehicle model business but um you know basically every single one of our cars is is a, is a luxury vehicle okay so how many how many travelers can you serve i, I mean of course you from one to how many uh or how many can your can your uh vehicles hold so i'll give you a very easy example uh when Belvin wants a nice tra trip, he gets out of the gets out of his house. We turn up with a, a beautiful vehicle for him. He gets in the back. Uh, he turns the heat up if it's cold. Turns the air conditioning down if it's uh, whatever. And he gets to the airport and he has a nice trip. Or on the whole end of the moment, at the moment we have two events: uh, one for three thousand people, one for four and a half thousand people. Wow. So it, it it it's it's all over the map. To be honest with you, there's not really a limit on size. 
you know, well, of course, when it gets that bigger, you have to bring, you know, partners and affiliates, uh, you know, mm -hmm. like some of these larger companies, when they do uh, their corporate events, you're talking about 15, 20,000 people uh, at an event at any one time. And of course, the, the transportation world's a little out of practice <laughs> for the right, last right. few years, right? <laughs> Coming back so, from the pandemic, so, yeah. Right, so there's a lot of unity there. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to a previous question, what makes us a little different? We pick our partners very, very carefully. And they're, and they're, and we have a very, very um, strict partnership process. So basically, they are us and we are them. And that's mm -hmm. an extension of who we are. But yeah, well, I mean, you know, if uh, I know you have big parties. So the next time you have a 30,000 people party at your house, um, you know, we can, you. Take, we can take care of that. It's not a problem. <laughs> I'm calling you. Now, it's funny because you, a, a lot of in this luxury industry, luxury is, is subjective. You know, everybody has their definition of luxury. To you, or with MHS worldwide, how would you all define luxury? Yeah, it's a it's a really good question. So for me, luxury is having a hot cup of coffee in the morning, and uh, you know, not having like back to back meetings. And when I get in a vehicle and on a trip, I just want to relax. I want to plug in my phone. I want a nice cold water. For me, that's that's luxury. I'm a little bit more on the simplistic side. We have clients that come in from. Uh, the Far East, for example, mm -hmm. that have such specific requirements um, that that's their definition of normality, not even luxury. Right. You know, right, don't right. Talk, don't, <laughs> your driver can't talk to us. Don't look us in the eye. We want our t our water at uh, exactly thirty point one degrees Celsius. You okay. know, it's like it, everybody has a different definition of luxury. I think that the majority of people are are not kind of crazy, you know, and right. people who were all polite. And for me, luxury is having clean, respectable, well-serviced, uh, on time, mm -hmm. uh, efficient uh, transportation and travel in any way whatsoever. And if there's a problem, luxury is being able to say, hey, I've got an issue. Or I want to change this or I want to do this. And it's done very, very quickly. Um, so, you know, for me, that's, that's luxury vehicles are vehicles, you know, whether you have right. a brand new escalator or a brand new BMW seven series, you sit in the back of a vehicle, you know, it, they're all luxury. All vehicles are luxury. Um, if your idea of luxury is a Lamborghini hurricane, then, you know, you're going to be driving yourself to the airport because there's no room. <laughs> <for that>. So, <laughs> you know, it's all subjective, as you said, Bill. Right, right. Well, when it comes to, I mean, when it comes to luxury, I think the main things that we take, we could take out of that is the convenience and the high quality customer service. And that's, you know, the simplicity, simplicity of that is, is just uh, unimaginable because yeah. you have yeah. so much where people take for granted and yeah. it's those little things uh, that you count on that really makes a difference in your vacation. So 100%. when it comes down to it, um, you know, you, we've talked about luxury and, and everything, uh, and we talked about your fleet of cars, but you, outside of just picking you up from the airport or, or taking you to the hotel, what are some things that, uh, some some services that MHS would provide or, or clients can take advantage of? Well, again, anytime you can think about moving from A to B to B to C to C to D, et cetera, et cetera, in a vehicle, we can take care of. Uh, recent examples would be um, uh, nine uh, woman friends uh, from the East Coast decided that they want to go to Ireland last minute and they wanted a, an entire tour of Ireland mm -hmm. for eight or nine days. So we had a driver pick them up from the airport and took them to the hotels and was with them 24 hours a day, pretty much. Um, within, of course, the legal limitations of driver law. I don't want you to think that we overdrive our drivers. Right, yeah, right. We, understand. Just, we understand. Just want to clarify that one. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, tours are, are very, very common, you know, uh, all around the world. This summer we had very, very heavy um, weight in uh, Spain, Portugal, Greece, United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people having had our services to the airport and having had our services you know, on transfers, we're like, hey, just curiously, I'm in Athens. I've got a couple of days. I'd love to see the city. I don't want to do the tourist open top bus thing. I don't want to walk around and find a map. Can you guys help? Absolutely. So we'll have an English speaking tour guide, either if it's a large group, or we'll have an English speaking driver turn up in a beautiful car and take them around for two days at their leisure. Oh, hold on. Driver, we'd like to stop for lunch. No problem. Pull over. Have your 
lunch, get back in the vehicle. Let us take you to the Acropolis. Let us take you around the city a little bit more. So um, tours are very common. We do a lot of tours all around the world. Um, we've it's it's interesting though. There's been a there's been a bit of a change in in the demands of some people, and one of which is uh, going is actually being escorted through airports. Right. So we also we also can facilitate people being picked up literally at curbside and taken through customs, taken through security, and actually taken to their gate, picked up from the gate and taken back. It's a it's very unique. There's just there's a lot of crazy things people expect nowadays. Um, but there everything is possible. Everything is possible. So yeah, tours are tours are always fun to to organize. You know, we actually have some mutual business contacts in, in common who very last minute wanted to change a tour in France. We had to change vehicles within about four hours. Um, with the time difference in France, it wasn't easy. But again, picked up, not a problem. Hold, beautiful tour in France and back. Everybody's happy. Um, a lot of cruise ship um, uh, nowadays, a lot of cruise ship pickups. And, and, you know, they don't want to go on the bus tours of the towns. Right, right. They don't want to be... Uh, uh, you know, trapped by everybody else's schedule. They say, okay, right. I, you guys do your tour. I'm going to get MHS Worldwide and we're going to get a nice uh, nice car or van. It depends on how size. And they do their own thing at their own leisure and they'll see 30,000 times more things than a bus tour would be. And you know how torturous bus tours can be <laughs> some, right, sometimes. Exactly. I'm not saying all bus tours are because some amazing operators out there. But I've been on some absolutely tragically terrible ones. But uh, so, so we've, we've done a lot of that stuff too. Well, I tell you, um, speaking for my client base, they really like using the services when it comes to shopping. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of my clients are women, and they want their own private shopping experience. So, one hundred percent, we've had we've used the services where you just pick them up from the hotel, and they do a, a day of shopping. And you're just like you said, and during that shopping time, they will also visit a maybe they may stop uh, at a restaurant, have lunch, and then yeah. even go to a museum. But the driver is always there. The driver's there for the allotted amount of time, maybe 100%. Six, seven hours. And, and what ha what happens a lot of the time, Belvin, is the uh, the wife will say, "I want to go shopping." The car service will be provided, and the husband says, "I'd like another car." It doubles up because he's on the way to the airport to go home at that point in time. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You know, we have we have had we have had two in the recent in in, in the recent few months of a group of um, it was actually two couples. It, I want to say women are the only people who shop nowadays, but they took a car service to a, a shopping area, and we had to, actually had to get them an, an SUV, not a sedan, on the way back because we had to accommodate their bags, and okay. it, it's, a, it's a it's a real thing. So you know, it's uh, some of the people don't really think about that, but when you go shopping internationally, you can you can carry you, people do buy, and especially with the pound to the euro and sorry the dollar to the euro and the dollar to the pound right now, it's like it's like you know double spending opportunity over there. So right, yeah, just always upgrade the vehicle, get a bigger car because you know that uh that there's going to be some shopping bag coming home exactly i, I see a lot of them are, are now requesting the sprinter the sprinter style so so they yeah. can have everything in there especially with the with their small groups so yeah. that's yeah. that you know a, a question i get from time and I'm, I'm glad i got you on here i want to ask you this they'll, i'll get a call after they after the uh after the the trip and they'll say belvin um uh, how much should I tip the driver? I don't know. What should I tip the driver? How, <laughs> like, yeah. you, know, you know, just but, tip whatever you like or, you know, but coming yeah. from you, what, what should, what's the protocol? What should we do for the driver? So it's a really good one. And, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, this is the reason why we include everything in our pricing, because we have had, so we've heard stories of people taking taxis in, in international cities uh -huh. and, and basically not being being conned effectively and not knowing the the some rates and whatnot, end up paying more for a terrible taxi um than it would have been a beautiful SUV or a beautiful private car service picked up from the hotel to go downtown, any city. We build our gratuity in. That's not to say though, if you have an, if you have build a relationship, if you have an affirmation for a driver, right. or you know, if a driver goes out of the way and all of our drivers will go out of the way if you want something, if you need something, you know, this is the thing. It's not like, no, I'm taking it from A to B and that's it. It's all in price. No, it's like, okay, well, sure. I, you know, I've, I can take you around here. I can stop here, let you take a picture, you know? So 
gratuities are gratuities. I'm from Scotland. If it was up to me, no one would be getting any tips ever. <laughs> you know. Is that how they do it in Scotland? <laughs> it's like that's how that's how copper wire was invented. It was uh, invented because two Scottish people were fighting over a penny. A penny. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I, you know that world has evolved a little bit. But um, right. but we build all our, our tips of gratuities in. So so there's no cash exchange. It's much okay. safer. It's much cleaner. There's no credit card exchange. The the everything's taken care of before you even get in that vehicle. Well, great. Well, great. And that's good to know because you know those questions do come up from time to time. But to know that it's included, but you could still tip your driver, especially if they're going over and beyond. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, and then when they get back home, they can tip us too, like yeah. you. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah>. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, speaking of us, uh, the, the the actual luxury travel advisor, you know, a lot of people ask, you know, why should we use a luxury travel advisor? For You know, in your situation, why should um, uh, a client, our listeners, use a luxury travel advisor, especially dealing with MHS? Well, it's that's a good one. And I'll tell you, there's a big difference between a luxury travel advisor and a generic travel advisor. And that is because they've not only experienced the services, they have proven and tested the relationships and they know what they're doing when it comes to replicating what it is that you want. Um, I will say, and this is not just because I'm talking to you at all. And I would say this, uh, and I would mention you to anybody who asked me, but when we deal with your clients, it's very clear. They work with you for a reason. You know what I mean? Because there are some agents, travel agents out there that are just a, a nightmare to work with because they don't understand what it is, the concept of luxury travel. When it comes to luxury travel, you and I know what it means to go a little bit beyond. Right. We know what it means to say, okay, so this is where you're going. It's your anniversary. All right, perfect. We're not just going to book your hotel room. We're going to have a bottle of champagne delivered to the room, or we're going to we're going to have uh, you know something special, meaningful done for you, or we're going to we're going to organize a photographer on your trip for an hour just so you have amazing memories. By the way, that's courtesy of us, and you and I have both done that. And this is what it the it's the going beyond. It's the understanding the fact that for three hundred dollars you have this amazing experience. For two hundred dollars you have no experience and you wish you'd spent a hundred more dollars on, on a luxury travel. And so when it comes to like booking for, through you, through Showtime, through you guys, what we see with those clients is a much more sophisticated, much more understanding, a much more knowledge-based kind of client who understands what global travel really is all about these days. Yes. Yes. And it, it is a, it is a, a service that that's needed, but it's, it's definitely something that we always say that people deserve and once you take that vacation, uh, you can go back and say, you know, I turned my dream, uh, my, you know, dream reality, my dream into a reality with this vacation. And that's what we want to do. When, you know, when you come back home, you're full of memories and we just don't want to waste time. You know, time is something that we just can't get back. Uh, yeah. Speaking of time, I want to thank you, Eden, for taking out, taking the time to, you know, to spend with us. But before we go. I just want to ask, is there anything um, that I may have not uh, asked you that you want to provide, or do you have anything that you want to leave with our listeners? Well, you didn't ask me what uh, luxury travel agency I think is the best. Well, what luxury travel agency do you think is the best? That's Showtime Travel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. It's been such a pleasure. I love chatting with you. I, I, I really do. And, um, you know, for, for your listeners and for people traveling, you know, you guys do such an incredible job at uh, at understanding the matrix of what it means on luxury travel base that uh, I'm excited. We're excited. We always look like, enjoy and, um, and appreciate looking after your clients. Okay. And we, yeah, we definitely appreciate your service. You've helped us out a lot. And I just want to let everybody know uh, we we work together as a partnership and we look forward to working with uh, especially anybody who's ready to take that luxury vacation because you deserve it. <laughs> so I'm great. Sure. Well, thank you again for uh, for talking with us, Eden, and, and, and representing MHS Worldwide. And, and uh, we look forward to uh, working with you again. Have a good one. Likewise. Thanks, Bob. Thank you for listening to the You Deserve a Luxury Vacation podcast. Please visit ShowtimeTravel.com to plan your next luxury vacation. Also subscribe to the Showtime Travel channel on YouTube and Instagram for more luxury vacation inspiration.